All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lash God Cook-Off. This cook-off is between Raquel and Maxi. Go to the grocery store, you have 50 bucks. You get what you want to get, you come back home and you cook. And then people taste it, whoever wins, wins. So let's get into it. Okay, salad first. Maxi, should we put baby cucumbers in it today? Okay, we need that lettuce that we get that's attached to the thing. Okay, I need to find my recipe and my favorites. Ooh, is that for your meal? Yes, it is. I need basil. All right, let's do it. I gotta find this recipe. What's going on here? Oh, we need this. See this? What is this? Organic ranch. ranch. Okay, we're good. Yeah? Yeah, garlic. I have garlic doll. I am a real adult in some ways. This is the one dish I know how to make. I hope I know how to make it well. Like, we got the almond slivers. Just looking for some nuts. Apple cider vinegar. This is like the best. Instead of salad dressing, this. Or bread. Bread dipped in apple cider vinegar. Okay guys, big problem. They don't have the shells that I need. And it's like crucial to my recipe, like crucial. My competitor chef laughed at me, so I'm gonna make a lasagna instead. Guys, never mind. It was hiding from me. I found them, so the recipe's back on. We got these large shell Italian pasta shells. Woohoo! Oh, I'm picking the sauce. This is the best sauce ever. It's on sale for $9.99, so I'm gonna stock up. Alrighty, we'll see you guys at home. All right. Have any appetizer? Want a carrot? Quick appy? Yeah, I'll have a carrot. Quick appy. Welcome to the cook-off mm. featuring Rack and Max. Mm. Um, so we picked two different styles. Hers is not vegetarian, so I won't be able to try it. I'm making something Italian. I'm gonna show you guys what I have going on here. So I got some jumbo shells, and then I have a few different kinds of cheese. So we're doing a burrata on the side. I got some fresh basil. They didn't have basil, so yeah. we had to get the whole plant, but I, it smells nice. It's lamb. It's like aromatherapy. Um, and then I have a few different types of cheeses. So we have a blend, so I'm gonna chop up some basil. I'm gonna use ricotta. I am going to use pecorino. I get this cheese uh, down the street from a bakery. It's aged 36 months. Yo, so it looks bomb. It's bomb. And I have another one, which I left unrefrigerated on my counter for 12 hours, so it's extra aged. Extra aged! Extra aged. And then I have mozzarella um, and parm to top it off, because I am going to bake this. So the shells are going to be stuffed. I have my favorite Rayo's marinara sauce. This is, guys, like if you're trying to impress your man and you don't know how to cook, this has all the flavor. This is the best <laughs> pasta sauce. Like you can't impress your man with ragu. You have to spend no. the 10 to $13, depending where you get it on Rayo's. No, I have cetophobia. I hate tomato seeds. So I'm going to sift my sauce um, and everyone's going to eat it sifted because it's just a better way of life and it tastes way better. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a burrata. Me and Maxi are obsessed with burrata. In the middle, you guys are going to see that this area here is our common. So we have a loaf of bread. Uh, it's olive bread. We have cucumbers. Um, we have butter. Uh, we have sweet butter. What's it called? Like, what do you even call this? Lettuce? Um, butter lettuce? Butter lettuce, yeah. And then this it's is... It's basically like attached at the root. Oh, it's a Boston yeah. lettuce, my bad. We have bad. two Boston lettuce and then one butter lettuce over there. And then we got some vegan dressing. It's ranch. It's called We have raw. a certain way of doing the dressing, though. It's top secret. I know ranch seems a little bit Oh, I have those lame. little nuts you like. Where are they? Those little, little, those little guys. Pine nuts. Oh. We got pine nuts and we got some almond slices. I also have some chestnuts in case I get hungry while we're doing this. I'm literally <laughs> so hungry right now. I know. But it's gonna take a while because we're chefing. We're not just doing something quick. Yeah, no. Um, for mine, I have pork dumplings. I had to get them like this because they didn't have the frozen ones for some reason. I and feel then, like this is better. Yeah, right? no, it's already like basically kind of cooked. All I need to do is fry it. Usually I boil it and then fry it. And then I obviously have some white jasmine rice. Then I have broccolini. I'm going to do my traditional garlic broccolini. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a cucumber salad. And so for my dressing, I have goma dressing. If you have Japanese food a lot, this is like your typical salad dressing. I have teriyaki sauce for 
my dumplings and they didn't have um, sesame oil. So I got roasted garlic and shallot oil. So it will still taste really good. And then my dip, which is my personal favorite when I'm having cold spring rolls, is peanut sauce. So I am having this as a side for the dumplings. And then I also have this sriracha chili garlic sauce. So you know, I love that. It has flavor. It's good. Mm. I forgot. Um, One more thing I have. Yeah. So that's it for mine. I have olive spread and I have a pesto Yo, as well. Yo, you got a tapenade? I got an, yeah, and I already had one in the fridge. Everything I got, I just have triples. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's good. Uh, I love olives. Olives are my favorite food. I'm addicted, so this is a green olive spread. Um, and I'm gonna mix that with some pesto and my basil, mix it in with my cheeses, stuff my shells. So I'm gonna get my filling ready while my shells are boiling. I already have some water going back here. Maxie's gonna get her pots going. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt in the pot, boil these shells for 14 to 16 minutes. What? May the best boys know win. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is rinse my rice. So first thing I'm gonna do is pick my basil leaves and chop them up. Aww. Okay, I'm cutting up my basil here. All right, we're good on the basil. I have this extra fine cheese grater. It has to be extra fine or the cheese just doesn't taste to its full potential. I'm just gonna use this whole container of ricotta because you know what, live a little. Yeah, no. Honestly, live you little. guys, her meal is gonna be delicious. <laughs> this is like a workout in itself. <laughs> there one. Oh, I didn't get sesame seeds. Oh no, it's okay. It's oh my gosh, this cheese is so hard, I'm literally sweating. If you don't have money to eat good, but you want to eat good, go to Burger King, get mozzarella sticks, and get barbecue sauce instead of <laughs> marinara sauce. And you're what? I could live off of that. Probably gonna need to add a little bit more cheese, but I'm gonna add a little baby bit of oil first. Tiny little bit. There we go. Olive. Spoon of that. That was a lot. Hope everyone likes olives as much as me. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got our pesto and our olive spread and a little bit of oil. I need salt and pepper. Pepper. I can't believe you thought I wasn't gonna make any vegetarian dishes for you. Like I had to think of you someone. Come on, Zola. Come on, man. <laughs> Good, okay, and we're mixing this up. I want it all to be blended evenly. Should I make my, my dipping sauce for my dumplings? I believe what I'm going to do is put a little bit of this, a little bit of oil. Mm. Guys, now I'm taking the peanut sauce. I love peanut sauce personally. Just a little bit. It tastes okay but I don't know if I like it fully, so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. Mix it in with the oil, like this. All right. I got my you guys can also use hoisin sauce if you don't have teriyaki sauce. Hoisin sauce and black bean garlic sauce is bomb. I'm gonna measure it, because I'm technical. There we go. Put a little bit of the um, same brand of sriracha chili garlic sauce, you guys. Need, you and then basically for the cucumber, what I'm going to do when it's closer to time is put this and a little bit of this mixed together. And yeah, it's gonna be bomb. The rice, honestly, this rice turned out so good. I didn't have to use the microwavable rice. Okay, now I'm gonna be grating mozzarella and more Parmesan. So after I stuff the shells, I'm gonna coat them with sauce. I'm gonna bake them in the oven. I'm gonna put mozzarella and Parmesan on top. All right, I'm taking a silver spoon and I'm sifting this sauce.
So these are gonna take a very short amount of time to fry, so it's going to be the last thing I do. And then I'm going to boil the broccolini, which will also not take a lot of time. I like my rice kind of sticky, so hopefully the judges like it like that too. So I'm just putting it on a plate for now, and then I will take however much and put it on a little plate for the judges. Okay. If Iguana was here, she'd call me Snack Punzel. Snack Punzel. It doesn't have no taste at all. Look at it. Guys, now I am boiling the water from my broccolini that's about to go down. Alright guys, it's going down with my parmesan and mozzarella. Personality. Oven is preset to 375. It's only gotten up to 320, but that would just be way too adult mm -hmm. if I waited the extra, f whatever, 55%. <laughs> there we go. Guys, now I am doing the cucumber salad. So I am using this roasted garlic and shallot olive oil or oil, and I just put it all over. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this. Roasted sesame goma dressing. Just do a tad bit. Ooh, baby. Just a little. We're missing the sesame seeds, sadly, but it will still taste really good. I'm also going to put a little bit of vinegar in this as well. Guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in it. Just a dash. So my little dumplings, they have oil in them. The oil already has garlic in it, so I don't really need to put like actual garlic in it. I find when I do, it just gets burnt. And then that water is boiling for the broccolini. I'm gonna do this, because I find it seasons the broccolini a little bit. Mm. Just like this. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in it too. I'm actually going to put some soy sauce in it too. It is done. It usually looks really bright in color when it's all ready. And you guys kind of try to drain it if you can. Okay, ready? Okay, guys, we're doing our taste testing. The judges are you two, Wincy. Get in here. You gotta be a judge, buddy. So I'm gonna try your cows right. first because. I love pasta. Okay, so the Rain noodle sauce. shell is cooked perfectly. Oh, don't gas me. I try the dumpling. Actually, how did you make these? <laughs> <laughs> I put them in the oven because the stove. There's something wrong with it. Mm, the dumpling's pretty good. These shells are bomb, though. Okay, I'll try the cucumber salad. What kind of dressing is this? Goma dressing. Mm, how would you describe this flavor? Yo, oh, Doug, you're the judge. <laughs> you tell me how it tastes. I think it has like. It's a little bit like sweet and sour. Yeah. Yeah, like a sweet and sour There's taste. vinegar in it, too. I think I know which one I like best. What is this? What kind of salad is this? Squirrel titty. <laughs> is this supposed to be a Caesar dressing? It's called squirrel, squirrel titty. <laughs> the salad has no flavor. It's the keg dressing, and me and Maxi co-made that the only No, thing it's good. Made. Okay, so I bought the pasta, but the salad tasted like trash. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying that about the salad. It's so good. Yeah, the salad yeah, is bad. I'm you, know, you know what it, like I think you know what it is? I feel like the lettuce was washed down too much where it got like drained in the in the water or something. Like Alright guys, what's the verdict? Let's do this. We gotta I think it's you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's you. Honestly. Your meal was really good. I wanna talk about something. I would vote you. I know how to cook. Really? Like, yeah, pause. Two, guys, that's don't be how you know. This is the two. only dish. I only know how to cook like two point five things though, Wincy. Two point five things? Yeah, so <laughs> I hope I'm good at this because it's like, you know, my it's, it's It's good. Wincy votes me. Austin, who do you vote? I think I like dumpling more. <laughs> we didn't have Oh, you like the dumpling yeah. more? I think I like, we're tied I like up now. It's getting spicy. Okay. What's going on here? Dumpling. Dumpling? Oh, really? What the fuck? But well, what about the rest of it? Was it bad? I know this dumpling. is good, but you no. just like the dumpling. This was the most fire part. <laughs> okay. Look at me. I know. The rice was, the rice got fucked up. I'm not going to lie. I burnt it. 
Wait, what do you mean you burnt it? Like, did you like did the you bottom it? got burnt. Oh, I see, I see. All right, we're waiting on your decision for a time. Um, I'm gonna say the um, the pasta shells. So mm. we're tied. I vote Maxi. She votes me. You done now? Oh, oh, okay. So. Yours was bomb mm -hmm. though. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank I you. honestly thought Maxi was gonna win. To be honest with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tied. No, I I know when I saw you cooking that, I was like, that looks fucking bomb. And honestly, it just would have been inhumane. If Mine we, was if, like. If Maxi won, that means the pork eaters are taking over. Okay, <laughs> we had to tie. No, I feel like mine was <laughs> fine, but yours is more like comfort. Hot. 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 Comfort? Hot. Yeah, mine's like chubby Hot. Canadian food. <laughs> yeah, so okay, good for. Guys, this was a no makeup, like real. Like, I've been sweating for two hours. <laughs> I've been so coma now from eating so much carrots and drinking so much juice while I was cooking. I know. But it was successful. We tied. So you can expect a cook-off part two. Oh! Um, Let so us know what videos you guys want to see. I yeah. hope you like seeing our team. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Talk to Bye. Me.